It's hard as a parent uh, to have a kid ask you consistently, why am I so stupid? And why is everything easier for everybody else? I think I was always really worried about what their future looked like without knowing if they were ever gonna get the skills that they needed to be able to read. And if you can't read by third grade, that's when you start reading to learn. And they're gonna miss out on a whole lot of information. I'm Josie. I'm Jason Tober. Uh, we have three kids. Two of them attend Groves. Gemma is in fifth grade and Jack is in third grade. Jack has been diagnosed with dyslexia, ADHD, and he also has a speech disfluency. Gemma has been diagnosed with dyslexia. School Before Groves for Gemma was heartbreaking. She was trying so hard to keep up with her reading and sight words and things were just not clicking for her. She had always been a confident and happy girl and in a two years time, things changed drastically and she developed severe anxiety and didn't want to go to school anymore. When I got diagnosed with dyslexia, I felt I was a little sad I had a learning difference from all the other kids and I felt like I couldn't do everything that the other kids did. But then after a while, I was, I was happy that I knew that I wasn't just dumb and I couldn't do anything. There was actually like a thing behind it. I have to go to a new school. I have to like go to a bunch of classes that I don't really know how to do yet. It was really hard for me in the beginning, but then after a while, school became one of the only things that I'd want to do. Like I'd always want to come to school. <laughs> and I'm at Groves and I'm learning, I feel like I can do anything here and I can accomplish my dreams no matter what. When you walk into a classroom, it just doesn't look like a typical school classroom. We only have, in most classrooms, one teacher with eight students and so it's a really individualized classroom at all times. All of our curriculums are very evidence-focused and based. I see students leaving with a different level of confidence, wanting to read a book on their own for the first time, doing their homework without it being super frustrating at home. And then just over the course of each of those little things, it seems that by the time they graduate or the time they're finished with their time at Groves, they're just walking with such a different level of confidence. And so I hope they can see that like the world is theirs, like they are capable of anything they put their minds to. At my, my old, old school, I, oh, I spent a lot of time in the counselor's office because of my anxiety. I would be terrified to even get up. And when I came here, it made me feel happier and less anxious. I feel supportive and I'm surrounded by other people who are just like me. And I'm finally learning the right way. I'm confident and smart and happy here. And I just want other her kids to feel like that too. I hope Gemma and Jack will see Groves as pivotal in their development. Prior to Groves, school was hard. School wasn't fun. School's fun now. Groves has given them the skills that they're gonna need to launch into life after, after school. Because of Groves, Gemma and Jack have limitless options now and we will forever be grateful for that.